How's it going everyone? Armin Tamzarian here, creator and founder of Blockchain Bandicoot, and today we'll be setting up a ShakePay account. ShakePay is the easiest way for Canadians to buy and sell Bitcoin and Ether. So let's dive right into it. The first step is to download the ShakePay app to our phones. Go to your phone's app store and type in ShakePay. Make sure you download the proper application. And now we're gonna create an account. Type in a username, email, and password, and then move on to the next step. In this next step, it'll ask you some personal details like your name, what phone number, name? address, all of these details is to protect you in the future. Every crypto exchange is going to ask you same, similar same. questions when but you're signing different. up for their services. Now it's time to complete our identity verification. Every crypto exchange is different, but ShakePay asks for one piece of government ID. Now we're on the home screen of ShakePay. You'll see there's only three options, dollars, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. There's two buttons at the top, add funds and send. You'll use this button here at the bottom to trade your cryptocurrencies. You'll be able to go into dollars, Bitcoin, or Ethereum and see your past transaction history. For example, when we go into dollars, we'll see that I bought Ethereum about five hours ago. When we go into Bitcoin, we'll see that I have some shaking stats. If we go into my Ethereum account, we'll be able to see that I bought some Ether and sent it to another wallet. Now for the fun part. First, we have to fund our ShakePay account. You can fund your ShakePay account through e-transfer, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or a wire transfer. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do an e-transfer into ShakePay. Click the interact e-transfer option. Hit I understand once you've read this. Now, here are the important instructions. You're going to add ShakePay as a contact in your bank account. Whenever you do an e-transfer, you're sending money to somebody's email address. For this scenario, we'll be sending money to this ShakePay email address. Copy and paste this ShakePay email address into your bank account contacts. Once you've added ShakePay as a contact list in your bank account, then choose to send an e-transfer to ShakePay. Type in the amount of money you want to send yourself in your ShakePay account. Then your bank will ask for security questions and answers. For your security question, you'll be using your ShakePay username. That's the one you set up at the beginning of this tutorial. You'll also be able to see it on the screen here. Now, ShakePay will provide you a security answer. Make sure you copy and paste this, as this is how ShakePay will deposit the funds into your account. Once you've confirmed that you're sending it to the proper email address, which will be funding at etransfers.shakepay.com, Go ahead and hit yes or confirm whatever your bank account says. And that's it. We've officially sent $100 to ShakePay funding. ShakePay says this could usually take up to an hour to see money in your account, but usually it's much faster. Let's go back to our ShakePay account. Now we see there's been a new Interact e-transfer into our account. So now we're holding $100 of cash in our ShakePay account. The next step is to convert that cash into cryptocurrency. Go ahead and click the button at the bottom. Hit buy and sell. Now we're gonna use Canadian dollars and buy Ethereum. So change the option on the bottom from Bitcoin to Ethereum. Now type in your desired amount of Ethereum you'd like to buy. I'm gonna go ahead and hit max because I wanna buy $100 worth of Ethereum. Hit confirm. And it's that easy. Congratulations, you just bought Ethereum. I went ahead and e-transferred myself another $200. Wow. And now we're going to buy more Ethereum with it. Now we've just bought 0 0.09 more Ether. Back on this main screen of ShakePay, we'll see that we have no more Canadian oh. dollars. But now we have our currency in Ethereum. We have a total of 0.1435 Ethereum. How do we get this Ether to our MetaMask wallet? Your next step is to open MetaMask on your mobile app or your computer. Click on your wallet address. This will copy it to your clipboard. Then go back to ShakePay and paste it where it asks for a wallet address. Once you confirm that this wallet address is the same as the one on your MetaMask account, then you can go ahead and send that crypto from your ShakePay account to your MetaMask wallet. Go ahead and hit confirm. Perfect. Now we've sent 0.1435021 ETH to our MetaMask wallet. Let's go back to the main screen of ShakePay and confirm that this transaction has been sent. Go ahead and click on Ethereum. 
and we'll see that just a few seconds ago we sent 0.14 ETH to the blockchain. This may take a while to get from your ShakePay to your MetaMask account, but be patient. If you typed in your wallet address perfectly, you have no worries. Now, back in your MetaMask account, go ahead and click your account balance. We'll see here that we received Ether for the amount of 0.14. That's perfect. So our transaction was successful. You can even click into that specific transaction and get more details. Well, that's pretty much it. Today we were able to set up a ShakePay account, fund our account through eTransfer, buy Ethereum, and send that Ethereum from our ShakePay wallet to our MetaMask account. Wow. Great job, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Oh,